My first experience with Katamari Damacy was when my brother and I picked it up from the store back in 2004. Back then, a new game that was only $20 wasn't something you really saw very often, and the bright, colorful artwork drew us in. We brought the game home and our minds were blown. We had never experienced a game like this before, and still to this day, its uniqueness stands the test of time. When I think about my time spent with my beloved PS2, Katamari Damacy always comes to mind. There were some sequels over the years, but none really had the magic of the first game. Maybe that's nostalgia speaking, but the series really seems to be neglected over the years. In December 2008, this classic PlayStation 2 title made its return as Katamari Damacy Reroll, an HD remaster of the original game. Everything here remains intact, with the addition of the option to use motion controls if you do so desire. In Katamari Damacy Reroll, you play the role of the Prince of All Cosmos, who is ordered by his father, the King of All Cosmos, to rebuild the stars by rolling a ball called Katamari. The word Katamari in Japanese means clump, while Damacy translates to soul. A clump of souls. Fitting, because in many of the game stages you roll up cats, birds, people, you name it. Imagine if the Grand Falloon from Castlevania Symphony of the Night was rolling around your town causing havoc. The first thing to note about this title is it's absolutely hilarious. The King of All Cosmos looks like he, his design was inspired by the Burger King from the early 2000s Burger King ad campaign, with an Easter Island twist, of course. The police officer shooting at the Katamari as if it's gonna make a difference is hilarious. Look at this guy over here with a crown on his bum. The movement of the Katamari is done with the two analog sticks, which will take a little getting used to, but that's part of the fun. Sometimes when making your way through the environments, you'll get caught up on something and have a hard time getting the Katamari to roll again. Other times, the camera seems to be always facing the wrong direction, or not quite at the angle you want it to be. All of this considered, the game's dual analog stick control scheme is part of its identity. It really makes it unlike anything I've played to date, and it stands the test of time. The more objects you roll into the Katamari, the bigger it will grow and it will allow you to enter different parts of the stages and roll up even bigger objects. In the later stages of the game, the Katamari gets so large that you can pick up buildings and Godzilla-inspired monsters, even entire islands. At the beginning of the stages, the King of the Cosmos sometimes gives you a royal present, but as the dick he is, he throws it down to Earth for you to find yourself. Presents are among some of the hundreds of items to collect in Katamari Damacy, so I guess you can consider this a collectathon. Sounds good enough to me. In the collection part of the menu, you can see how many objects you've sucked up so far, and what percentage of them you have obtained. Even better, these are all broken up into different categories to view them by. I personally enjoy looking at the size chart that sorts the items by size and the objects menu that sorts them by type. The collection aspect adds replayability to this relatively short game. You can always repeat an earlier stage to raise your high score or to find collectibles that you've missed. The soundtrack is considered by many one of the greatest video game soundtracks. So good that in 2018 it got the vinyl treatment, 14 years after the original game's release. The variety of compositions, ranging from upbeat cadences to relaxing melodies, often with the perfect mix of both. It is also one of the first video game soundtracks I've heard that had its vocals, which are just as bizarre as the gameplay. My favorite track is the music that plays on the title screen, 
aptly titled Katamari Nana. The part where there is a vocalized drum roll is great. I've never heard anything quite like this since. <laughs> So how does Katamari Damacy reroll right on the schmuck scale? We give it a 9 out of 10, merely just marred by the shortness of its length and the fact that you'll occasionally get stuck inside the game's environments. So let us know what you think! Did you like Katamari Damacy reroll? What should we review next? Let us know in the comments section below. And until then, join our grand Faloon. And be notified when we make new videos. Tune in next time on Two Schmucks. <laughs>